Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that my hair is very puffy. It's just I didn't take a shower in a little bit, so I'm going to have to go take a shower uh, when I come back home from work today. Uh, but I'm returning to you for a, well, it's going to be for an album review. This is the next Marathon Studio album review that I'm reviewing for Dream Theater's discography, which is for A Week. That I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this uh, 75 minute album. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, for the first few songs, I was not really feeling for 6 O'Clock, Caught in a Web, and Innocence Faded. They weren't bad tracks, they just were s my least favorites. If you can understand where I'm coming from. But the rest of the album did pretty good. Um, Space Divest. I gotta mention one thing about that song. It's weird. It's haunting. It has a very haunting melody. Like, very creepy melody. I guess you could say. But it actually works. It's not a bad track. It's a very outstanding song to close the album out. Uh, Scarred was really good. It was like about an 11 minute song. It is pretty lengthy. So you're in for lengthy songs. For majority of this album. Um, er, er, Erotomania. Yeah, Erotomania. I was trying to pronounce it right. Please forgive me on my pronunciation. Um, Erotomania was an instrumental. And it did very good. It brought the album back to a better standard of being very good. Because uh, the first three songs, I just wasn't feeling for James Labrie's vocals. In the first three songs, it sounded a little like a normal rock song. I know that's what they were going for, but I like how they mix it up a bit towards the bridge of the album, which is like the middle of the album. Going into the second half. And the second half does a lot better. From tracks 4 to 11. The album does pretty good. Um, Voices was a really good song. I really like that. The Silent Man was an acoustic song. Uh, it was like a shorter song on the album. But it works very well. For what it went for. Um, and James Labrie's low vocals and some of his high vocals in that song not a lot of high vocals from him in the silent man song but it does pretty good for what i went for uh so five out of five i'd give that song the mirror i like how the melody changes in the song at the beginning of the song it actually does very well and i like how it goes a little fast and the beginning of the song too then it goes back into a mixture of uh just what is it uh, that i'm trying to say uh just a mixture of a change of melody and it sounds really good with the guitars and drums playing out through this song it was a very intriguing track to really listen to uh, I was really impressed by this song, so 5 out of 5. Lie was another great song that I enjoyed. Um, don't know if it's my personal favorite, but yeah. Lifting Shadows Off a Dream was a really outstanding song. It was pretty lengthy. Uh, but yeah, the last song really does make you feel like really weird about how the ending of this album is turning out so it's a weird way to end an album but it's a nice way to end an album um if you think about it like that but keep in mind it's just my opinion you don't have to agree with me on what i really thought of this album it's just how i felt when I was listening to it, but I still thought the album was pretty good. And like I said, Scarred was 
the longest song on the album you're going to find. But it works very well, so 5 out of 5. Um, production, mixing, and execution. This album did pretty good. Um, I wouldn't call it my personal favorite, but it is one of the best albums. Um, it's not an awesome album, but it's a pretty good album. So it's going to get a really good score. So, yeah, um, and James Labrie's vocals and through the rest of the album do pretty well. And he hits a really high note with his vocals and it sounds really good uh through the majority of this album so i just wasn't crazy about six o'clock caught in a web and innocence faded they weren't my personal favorites to start the album but they did all right so 4.5 out of 5 i'd give those songs overall i think dream theater's awake album was a pretty good album highly recommend you check this out uh, it's going to get a little lower of a score because I was going to give it a certain rating, like a 9 or something, but I don't think it deserves that. So for a score, I'm going to give Dream Theater's Awake their third album or whatever for this third Marathon Studio album review, uh, 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good album. Like I said, highly recommend you check it out if you haven't listened to it yet. came out in 1994, so it's still, it's like almost 30 years old now. I know Images and Words is going to be 30 years old next year, so I'm like, damn, time has really gone by so fast. <laughs> but definitely comment below, let me know what you guys thought of the dream theater album awake if you've heard it and if you enjoyed this third marathon studio album review i did for dream theater's discography for the album awake comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel i will be returning to you tomorrow for their ep review and that'll be for a change of seasons and then after that i'm um, going to do another Dream Theater album review on the 16th, and that will be for Falling Into Infinity. That'll be their fourth album. So, I think they made a few EPs, but I'm only going to review one EP, because uh, maybe later on I'll review some other EPs of theirs, but I just want to review this one, because that's what I saw when going into their discography that A Change of Seasons was the next release that came out and it looked like a longer release it looked like an album release I honestly but it's an EP so it's only five songs but the runtime is supposed to be very long but I hope you did enjoy this uh Dream Theater album review that I did for Awake their third marathon studio album for this Marathon Studio albums that I reviewed for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Because I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe. Take care. I'll, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Sorry, I'm trying to stop the video. Please forgive me on that. I'll see you in my next video.